Maya. I've been seeing so many posts about the dog bed and I wanted to pop in and show my solution for it to make it perfect for my uses. So first I'm gonna show you what I have been using. Um, my dad made this for me. It's a like a soldered pipe around my bean bag and um, I've really loved it. I shoot natural light and so I'm constantly moving my entire setup to the light depending on which pose I'm doing. So um, this makes it really easy to turn and move but what I do not love about it, it doesn't come apart, it's huge and it doesn't fit in my closet. So it's always out and I feel like when I'm not having a newborn session it's totally in the way. Another thing that I don't love about it is when I have baby posed in the center or even um, pretty close to the front of the bag. Um, so you notice that it, like the side angles up starting even at the beginning. And so this side blocks some light. And so I find I have to lift baby quite a bit, baby's head to the light even more than I would normally have to. Otherwise baby's face is in shadow from um, the side rail, which I don't love. So I'm trying the dog bed. But I definitely wanted to be able to have a backdrop to my, my dog bed. So here's the bed. I'll show you kind of more closer details in a second. Um, but this is it all clamped up. Oh, here we go. Sorry guys, here we go. So uh, I love it. What I love is that there's not gonna be any light blocks from the side here, because I can clamp it down flat. Um, it's low to the ground so I can sit on my squishy mat and um, just be really close to the ground and really close to baby, which is awesome. And again, that, uh, that backdrop is super important to me. So I'll show you what I did. This is PVC. And here we go. So it's got this special little hinge that I found that is a push button hinge. So I can push the button and adjust the angle of this hinge of the backdrop so I can make it tighter, further back. If I want a really good like fade, I can make it um, higher if I'm doing something where I'm shooting from um, lower down. And um, the best part is that it also folds flat onto the dog bed and so that I can just store it flat against the wall, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna try to set my camera here. Hold on. Let me see the best way to do this. I'm gonna set my camera down and then show you it in action because I can't hold my camera and do this at the same time. So let's see. All right. I think I'm like the worst self videoer ever. Okay, here we go. Now I'm wearing a dress, so I hope I don't flash my underpants to anyone, but here we go. So here's the setup and I'm gonna just gonna go show you kind of the different ways to adjust it. All right, so my little push button, super easy. Just grab the buttons and I can fold it down flat. And now I can stir this up against the wall or put it in my closet uh, to set up. Again, lock it into place. I can do a kind of a, just a 90 degree angle here. I can pull it back and get a really nice fade if I'm working towards the front and just want that kind of um, soft backdrop fade. Um, and I can, even go as far as here, I might be clipped a little too far, but to get a really, really um, low backdrop and to make it look like I have even more distance there to my backdrop with my baby. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, I will post directions for what I used and all my links if anyone wants to make it themselves between all the pieces. So the, the hinges were about $8 each. Um, I can source to see if I can find them cheaper, but uh, besides that, the PVC was like two bucks at the hardware store. So for less than $20, I've made um, my dog bed so I can use it for both overhead shots and my regular bean bag shots. So I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm really, really excited about not having my giant bean bag in the studio all the time. I'm just looking right now and I think this will actually even fit under my, um, the couch that I have family sit on. So that's, 